Sam from Sheridan Computers and I'm going to continue looking at refurbished servers. This time specifically the HP DL160G6. Um, you can get them off eBay really cheap. In fact I bought a couple of them this morning for £150 each. They had 96 gig of RAM on them uh, and dual Xeon processors. So they come in various configurations. There's one that supports a two and a half inch drive, so you can get eight two and a half inch drives in it. And there's ones that supports three and a half inch drives, and you can get uh, four three and a half inch drives on them. I say they're really cheap to pick up off eBay, and the parts are cheap to pick up as well. If you like this video, please uh, take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are released. If you'd like to hire us for any projects, head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the Hire Us button and uh, fill out the details, let us know what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. So this HP DL160G6, let's take a quick look at the website. So it's quite an old server, as I say, um, but we're looking at refurbished servers and I say you can pick them up on eBay really cheap. So DL160G6 is high performance, low cost, ultra dense, dual processor capable, one new rack, um, memory intense, high performance computing. They really are perfect for running solutions such as uh, XCPNG. We, we've got a number of them running XCPNG. And uh, we've also got a number of them running OpenStack clouds. So processor wise, they take Intel Xeon processors and there's a uh, quite a few options on these a lot of websites that are selling them refurbished and um, you can select the base unit itself and then you can kit it out with the options that you're looking at uh, so upgrades to two processors intel 5520 chipset uh, 12 meg level free cache 4 meg level free cache um, memory so 4 gig 8 gig 12 gig um, r dims Maximum memory capability of 288 gig um, or 48 gig using UDIMS. So it takes both registered memory and unregistered memory, and they say it's cheap enough to pick up. Storage controller, um, non hot plug or hot plug for the SATA and SAS models. The one that we have here does take both SATA and SAS, as I say, and I picked it up for 150 quid. Uh, it comes with optical drives. Maximum storage, you can kind of ignore this. It's, we've got them running with uh, more than two terabyte drives in them. It's just probably the drives that was maximum drive size that was available at the time. Um, farm factors say it's 1U, ACPI version 2, um, security, power on password, total password, uh, secure sockets, SSH, power supply, 500 watt auto switching, uh, and we've got six system fans. So these are um, really good, and they also come with the uh, lights out as well for remote management, so you can uh, log into them even if they're switched off, power them on, reset them, do whatever you want with them. So now let's head over and take a look at the actual server itself. So this is the one we have, and this is the one that takes uh, two and a half inch drives. Let's we'll take a look at the front of it. You can see there's room for two drives here, number two, number two, and then two here with the CD run over the top. Um, we've got secure mounting brackets as well, so the screws will screw into the wax to stop it sliding about. On the rear of this thing, so this is the one that has redundant power supplies in it. There's a serial con connector on it, VGA connector, we've got USB ports on the rear. We have dual 1 gig network cards in it and we have a separate management interface. So the first thing you'll notice is the length of this thing. It's, it's a long server. There's quite a bit of weight in it, it's a long server so you'll need obviously a server that's capable of taking... You need a rack sorry, that's capable of taking servers that are this deep. Let's uh, go ahead and take the lid off. So you can see at the back we have the RAID controller, which is a full height card here. Um, we're going to leave that in for the time being, I would have took it out if it's not necessary. 
And we have a half height card here, and I have an Intel 520 network card to put in here, a 10 gig network card. On this side you can see we have six fans in here. Pull this out. Um, on this side we have two fans here on the PSU as well. So we have six memory slots on each side and uh, I did say I'll take up to 288 gig of RAM, that's a lot of memory. Uh, we've got the dual Xeon processors. There's a uh, quite tidy server, I do like these. So remember to put this back on. Put it the right way around. So I was just um, going over that server quickly while I had well I had it here and I was changing the network card out of it. Like I say, for a server like this, they are ideal for XEPNG for anything that requires virtualiz virtualization. Basically, um, in fact, we've got a couple of them running Windows on them as well with Hyper V. They're really versatile servers, and you can pick them up very very cheap. So if you're looking for a kit for your home lab, as long as you've got a rack that these things will fit in, they're ideal, especially being one new. I hope this video helps, if you like it, please go ahead, hit the like button.